we're going to speculate on the future of Adaptive Educational Hypermedia, AEH. First, we have to look at where we're at before we get a trajectory of where AEH can take us. One vision of the future sees more AEH developed from existing theories. AEH is not just telling students the same thing different ways until they get it. The uh, amount of adaptation necessary to address most students is astounding. There's dozens of ways to look at the needs of the learner, as we can see by the number of well-respected theories. Some examples of well-respected theories, the learning cycle for inquiry-based learning, Kolb's cycle. Uh, another way to break it down, the VARC learning styles, an acronym for visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning styles. We've got Honey and Mumford's model, their mind styles. We have my personal favorite, multiple intelligences. This one's showing nine of them. Now, Howard Gardner did add additional intelligences over time, but he's been stuck at uh, eight different distinct intelligences for some years now. People in secondary education hear a lot about differentiated instruction. There's different levels of understanding. And while not a educational theory, the Myers-Briggs and other personality tests can be used as a pre-assessment for AEH to front load the customization process. So custom adaptation can begin right away and continue as more is learned about the student through their actions and their demonstrated comprehension. Bloom's taxonomy talks about the higher order of thinking required and correlates that to deeper understanding. Diagrams such as this one show action words associated with each level of understanding in the taxonomy of thinking skills. And we can see here that Bloom's has even been adapted to the digital world and even to iPad apps. So existing theories are already being adapted to new technology and uh, AEH can accelerate that and expand it to even more areas. And most well-respected theories will still be with us going forward. Uh, science will use an inquiry-based model such as the learning cycle a lot still. And social studies will sometimes use like blooms and multiple intelligences and other disciplines will use other combinations. So going forward, we see training developed using AEH that will then be tested. The effectiveness will be based on students' learning achievement and learning time. After the test, AEH will be modified to improve it, and then we can retest. And this is a cycle that can happen over and over again. Also, based on what we find, there can be additional research done to modify and develop new AEH and begin testing, modifying, researching, and on and on in an upward spiral.